Ben Henderson, the heart of a champion. Benson Henderson is here to fight, gentlemen, for sure. Every single person has their own individual look. Sure, I, I have an image. For me, the, the look that I have, the, the look that people want to capture and, and do a single shot, whether it's the hair, whether it's the angel wing tattoos, or whether it's a toothpick that people gravitate towards and pay attention to. If it's positive, awesome, I'll take it. Benson Henderson firing up this crowd at the Footprint Center in Phoenix. January 29th, 2022, standing inside the cage, looking out, seeing all my friends and family. I was definitely more emotional as they announced the decision than I maybe have ever gotten before. And it was the uncertainty that made me emotional, not knowing if that's going to be my last fight or not. I'm not going to fight the UFC, I'm not going to fight PFL 1, go somewhere else. I'm a Bellator man through and through, so not knowing if I'd get another contract. Uh, thankfully, they gave me another chance to get the belt around my waist, uh, gave me four more fights. Uh, this is it for me. This is the last four times I'm ever going to do this again. Knowing that, man, I'm, I'm pouring everything I have into these. Legacy doesn't necessarily matter a whole lot. Uh, at this point in my career, the same thing that drives me now as it drove me before is to being the best. Got the WC belt and got the UFC belt, that third elusive belt or belt. I have to have that one on my waist. Benson Henderson is the greatest 155 pound fighter that's ever fought in MMA. The thing that has always separated Benson from other people is his willpower. He won't give up. He will always give everything he has. He won't stop. He's going to keep going until he gets what he wants. Getting that belt or belt around my waist, that is the biggest mountain for me so far. And along the way to the top of that mountain is me beating Peter Queeley in Dublin, Ireland. I can't wait to fight Peter Queeley in Dublin. How cool is that? Coming to the guy's house and you get to fight him in, in front of those rabid fans. Yeah, let's do that. I can't wait. We know these are going to be my last four fights, then I'm done. And then all the attention, all the focus, and go to my wife and make sure that she has as amazing of a career as she wants to have. When we were found out I was having my fourth daughter, I thought I would never be able to fight. And Benson said, I will bend hell and earth to make sure you are a world champion one day. Benson doesn't like to see himself as a coach, but he's always watching me. I would say my role in her career is more like a teammate. She motivates me in a certain way, and I motivate her in a certain way. And we're able to help uh, feed off each other, to, to drive each other, to push each other to be better. Maria's got a great future. She's a fighter inside of her heart. I'm not doing this to get attention, to take pictures, to have money. I'm doing it to be the best in the world, just like my husband. And knowing my husband's going to be in my corner makes me feel unstoppable. I can hear it now, guys. And new strawweight world champion, Maria Mouse Henderson! Man, every fight at this point in my career is, is everything. It means everything. As far as where it is and where it is and how many people are watching and all that other extras, it doesn't matter. Getting your hand raised, getting the next W, that is what matters. I am going to have the Bellator lightweight belt around my waist. And Peter Queeley, he's just a step on that path.